And it's just another one of those days where we've had some lightly scattered showers across the region, generally on either side of Interstate 35. Like yesterday, it was the center part that's kind of been avoiding that. But to the east and the west, you had some of those scattered showers and maybe a little bit of some thunder here and there. But overall, it looks like the busier activity was to our west and southwest and also closer to the coast. But in general, we'll start to see a few more of these showers come and go throughout the next few days. Tomorrow should look a lot like today. But I think we'll sprinkle in a few more showers here and there for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and that does include some additional thunderstorms as well. So we'll say it's a 40% chance of rain on those days. This should generally be wrapping up by Thursday, just a few lingering showers there. And by the time I think we get into uh, Friday and Saturday, things should be pretty much done by that point as far as the rain goes. So getting into tonight again, the showers out there are going to kind of fade away, but we'll see some more come back as we go into tomorrow afternoon and we'll see if Interstate 35 can get in on that action. But I think it looks like maybe the slightly better odds are going to be out to the west and out to the east and not necessarily in the center. But that does change from Monday as I think we'll see again a few more of those in the region. We'll see those showers and storms become even more numerous. And while it's not going to be raining on everyone, some of these will continue to come and go throughout Monday afternoon and evening. And we will repeat that process going into Tuesday and Wednesday. Temperatures tonight falling down to 74 degrees with high temperatures tomorrow right around 90 to 92. It's not going to be terribly hot again because of the rain that will be coming and going in the area. Some of that humidity though will still be in play. But onto the 10 day forecast, as I mentioned, the rain chances continue through the first part of the week. And then by Thursday, things look to be drying out a little bit and the temperatures should actually be improving with temperatures in the 80s for Wednesday and Thursday. And we'll get back to some sunshine and a few clouds with drier weather for next weekend.